What's good everybody, in today's video I'm gonna be teaching you how to start a clothing brand without any money and also at the same time giving you a walkthrough of my own personal journey of starting a clothing brand from essentially nothing by giving you the exact same tips that I'm using just by being around successful people, being around non-successful people. I've been in places where I've been able to see other content creators, other clothing brands and just high tier people in this world and I've seen the good and I've seen the bad so I'm just using that everything that I observed and giving it to you because I think it's free game instead of just selling a course so you guys are gonna see my journey and you're gonna see how my tips are going to help me become successful so I'm not just selling you no BS while you're watching this video so without further ado let's just get straight into it now I would be selling you an absolute dream if I told you that you could make the most successful clothing brand without investing any type of money. It's just not realistic. However, there are a lot of things that I feel like are necessary and essential to do that don't cost any money at all. And I feel like people kind of wait till they get money to try and start doing this. And that's the number one thing that I see with clothing brand owners or just people that are trying to start a clothing brand in general. They wait till they get all their money and then they try to do everything at once and it becomes super overwhelming and to be honest especially with clothing since it's so oversaturated right now it's going to be very hard to see success in the beginning so doing everything all at once is going to overwhelm you it's going to fatigue you and you're just not going to want to continue anymore and that's where a lot of clothing brands they just drop off because they don't want to do it anymore so these i'm going to give off four things that you need to be doing that don't cost any type of money at all which i feel like you need to do regardless so let's just get into them the first one, it might sound so basic and cliche, but it's absolutely necessary, is planning. So me personally, I, I save a lot of my, my checks and I tell myself once I get to a certain amount, I'm gonna start investing my money to my clothing brand, whether it's ads, promotions, etc. But with that, right, I have to plan out what am I gonna do first. First, I need to create a website. I plan on creating a website, revamping it so that it looks super cool already so by the time i want to add products and i want to start promoting it i'll already have a fully functional and professional website so when i have when i start getting that's or i start asking people to promote it for me they're going to come to my website and they're going to be like dang it looks like he's been doing this for a minute and to be honest with the way that this human nature works people aren't gonna really support you either unless they know you or that they see that you're already successful or they see that other people are talking about it. So for you to already have an established something that looks like it's already been put in work, that's necessary. So I feel like that's planning right there, right? I need to figure out in what order am I gonna do everything. So me personally, I'm gonna create my website, I'm gonna revamp it, I'm gonna focus on that and then I'm going to make a couple of products already. I don't even plan on selling them. I just want to have these products so I can put them on the website. So again, like I said, when I start putting out these promotions, it's already gonna look done and complete and that I've been doing this for a minute. I wanna get pictures with it, so that's also gonna have to come first. Again, it just needs to be fully established. So there's a lot of things that, I, that I'm gonna be doing with it. However, if I just said, okay, uh, I need money, I need a website, I need uh, people that's gonna wear my products, I need promoters, I need all this, this and that. So just put it in a timeline and make it make sense. So as long as it makes sense, it's not gonna feel overwhelming because there's gonna be a lot of steps. So planning is essential and it comes down to, there's a lot of things when it comes to planning. You can plan out your, your rollout. How do, how do you plan on rolling out? Are you gonna do a commercial for it? Are you just gonna do promotions? What kind of marketing are you gonna do it? There's a lot of like, like super missed out questions that I feel like are so easy that a lot of people just miss out on and they kind of just neglect it, right? So there's a lot when it comes to planning. Plan out plan out your mock-ups. Which set are you gonna release first? Is this set good enough to release in this time? Is this a trending product? Or when, when should we, or how about I like this product, but let me wait until this time to do it. There's a lot of things that you could spend days, weeks, months on before even investing your first dollar. You really need to learn how to plan your stuff out and there's just so much when it comes to planning right and so the next thing this goes hand in hand is is research like I said it's, it's similar but different to planning because research is another thing I feel like is not looked upon at all 
You need to research who are you gonna get your clothes from? What are your profit margins gonna be? Because you have all these good ideas, right? But it's like, once we get this money, we have to be able to put it in fruition because if you wait till you get to the money, you're just prolonging the whole thing. And you want as much time as possible ahead of the game before you put any money into it because it's gonna take time. So, do you know who you're gonna get your clothes from? Is this good quality? Is this a good manufacturer? You know what I'm saying uh, what else how much is it gonna cost what are your profit margins if you're buying this shirt and it costs twenty dollars and you plan on only charging 25 is it really worth it you're still gonna have to ship you're still gonna have to get packaging you're still gonna have to pay promotion so research how much is gonna take for everything and what are you gonna return back because that's also another thing with clothing brand the margins are absolutely terrible and, and really, unless you're like really big, it's, it's really not going to be worth it. But a lot of people don't know this. They already put money into the brand. They put money into the product. And they don't really know these things. Now, two more things that I have when it comes to researching. I think these are super important. One, finding a niche, right? I feel like with a clothing brand, you need to be able to have one, at least one specific thing that separates you from everybody else. Now, a lot, of, a lot of people say that they have this one thing. They say, like, oh, it's the cultural impact. They say it's different. It's the quality. You, know, you have to really dig deeper. And what's that one thing that separates you from the other? Now, I'm going to cut it into perspective, right? We have Hellstar, Palm Angels, Chrome Hearts, etc. Right? Now, obviously, all of these are well-established brands. But the one thing that these brands do have in common is I feel like they kind of fade out, right? They kind of fade out when the trend is out. Why? In my personal opinion, I don't think they have that niche that separates them from everything else. One of the brands that I feel like I could put in that category that kind of faded out, but I feel like they had their niche was Vilone. Vilone was one of the only shirts that had something on the back, right? And so you have folks taking booty pics for the Vilone shirts. It is what it is. That was their niche. They had the, the V on the back. It was a big flex to, to take a picture with that V on the back. So that's why v Lone stayed around too long. Well, stayed around a long time, but eventually it just got, got burnt out. You dig what I'm saying? And then the creator and it's a whole lot of stuff. But these other brands, even all the popular brands that you see with TikTok, where you see with all these content creators, they fade out so quickly because they're not too different from these other brands. So having a niche that just separates you, that's gonna take your brand as far as possible. And honestly, I wouldn't even put a dollar into my brand unless you figure out that exact moment. And let me know if you do have a clothing brand right now, uh, put it in the comment section, I wanna check it out, and let me know what your niche is, right? And let me, I'll tell you if it if it's really different or not, you dig what I'm saying? It doesn't even have to be anything extraordinary, bro. Like, I'm not saying like invent something new, but even though you can, but just something that separates it. So for me, example, my clothing brand is gonna have a message to it that directly affected my life, but also I feel like a lot of other people can resonate it too. But what's different about it, right? Because you were gonna say, well, everybody has, a lot of people can have a message in their brands. Well, this one is directly catered to me. So my thing is, is that everything is gonna be a play on the number four because my brand is, is for the toe. And also another thing that I do is that I'm giving away my clothing to the homeless, right? So that's not something that, an, I, I don't know a single brand that does that. That's just like popular, like I don't see Hellstar, I don't see Chrome, I don't see none of these brands doing stuff like that. And I'm not giving them throwaways, I'm giving them out of the package, brand new. You dig what I'm saying? So helping out the community, that's my niche. Having a specific message that you know, I can explain in depth compared to like something like get motion or something like that like cool the messages we get in motion we get a lot of money there's so many people that are doing that but this message directly affected my life and my you know turnout on everything that i had and i feel like a lot of other people in this world can resonate with those type of messages so research is super key and the last thing that i'm gonna say about research that i felt like was uh, very helpful for me any content creator that you watch any youtube that you watch any brand that you see you have to ask yourself, what is it about them that you like so much? And implement it in a way that it feels natural for your brand, but it's also creative. For example, one thing that I took from a content creator, there was a point in time 
where I was watching Loaf, Town Out Loaf, and his videos are super funny, but what I started to notice that he was doing is that in every video, no matter what, he always had his merch on. There wasn't one video that I watched without his merch on. So that's why just me creating videos, I always have my clothing brand on. Because I think the best way to market it is just wearing it yourself. You can't sell something that you don't you don't plan on, on wearing. So that was something that I took from a content creator that I like, that I implemented into my brand. It's just something as small as that, right? So just research, do a lot of research. There are so many things to research. And if you, if you need help researching or what things you should do to research, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll help you guys out. Same thing when it comes to, to planning. Make sure you comment and I'll help you out. The third thing, creating a website. I, I think creating a website is, is huge. Uh, I think there was a point in time where, where you could get away with not having a website. You could do Cash App, you could do Zelle, etc. And for a good portion, I feel like you could get away with it. But now, since again, this is an oversaturated market, um, everybody's just so tech savvy nowadays. I feel like everybody has a website, so I think it's just, a staple right now just to have a website and most people use Shopify and Shopify gives you a free month trial and I've created a website on Shopify when I was like 17 and they give you kind of blueprint of how to do it you can make it look somewhat decent if you want to and again this comes to research research how to create a website there's a lot of avenues there's a lot of uh, AI services there's a lot of just in general services that will help you create a really good looking website so uh, I think doing that and you can spend a lot of time making a website. I think it took me maybe a couple of weeks but I was doing it just like out. after school I would just get on there and, and make it. But it's super simple, it's super easy. It is a little tedious and time consuming especially depending on what you're selling and how good you want it to look. So it, it does take a lot of time. Like I said, there's a lot of things to do before you even put a single dollar in your brand so that that's just me personally so create that website is super essential like i said i think the best route is just to go to shopify um i feel like that's what most people use anyways and it's, it's simple and, and like i said it's free so you get the the one month trial boom there you go now this last step i think it is super underrated but i think it's so beneficial and people don't really understand how important it is and you might think i'm i'm like weird for saying this but the fourth thing that you can do without investing any money is just explore the world. No, you don't have to go to Japan. No, you don't have to go to New York. You can literally just do it by walking around your area and you can find inspiration. Like I said, most of uh, like all my clothing designs, it came from either something that I was inspired by or that I dealt with personally. And even exploring just goes into a symbol of like, anime that you're you know, fascinated in and you like this certain artwork. Like, I literally have one shirt, um, I don't have it around me, but, well actually no, this one right here, even with this jacket, the faces, I got this inspiration from, um, Silly Sins, it was like, I think season four, when it got a little trash, <laughs> but, uh, and I forgot what happened, but like the angel had turned into like the dude with four heads, and I thought the design was so sick, and I put it into my jacket and so that's why I have four different faces on it but also like I said earlier all of my clothing brand has the you know play on the number four so this is four out of the seven deadly sins you dig what I'm saying so just simple stuff like that just go out and explore go ahead and read some books um, I got some inspiration from uh, the Phil Knight book the Nike book stuff like that me walking around uh, I saw what's it called the pink tree Oh, I, 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 I'm throwing a blank, but the pink, oh, the blossom trees that you see in like the stuff or animes, I saw one of that in real life and it was so amazing and I was like, yo, and I put that on one of my shirts. So something simple as that, just literally get inspiration and you can do that by just walking around, by watching TV, by reading a book, but don't use that as an excuse like, I'm watching TV, I'm trying to get better at my brain. Like, no, you kind of have to have, like, I'm not saying only watch TV or only read these books or only go outside to inspiration, but when you're doing these things, just have it in the back of your head, like, wait, actually, like, use this for my brand. You know, have that thought in the back of your head, like, let me see, like, who in the world, what's exciting on this I can implement to my brand, or dang, I really like that. Let me put that into my brand. These are, are just simple things that you can do without investing no money and the, these are all the things that I plan on doing um, like I said um, I have an X amount of money that I want to just save up to and then after that 
I plan on running um, ads. I need to uh, make my website. Um, I need to make more uh, markups for the website to put the shirts on on the website. I need to create more designs, and I also need to um, out some stuff to or pick out the people that I want to send it to, influencers wise, or just celebrities um, that I can send out to before we can start putting money into it. Like a lot of things that I have to do that don't cost me any money before I, I even want to start adding money to the brand, before I want to even start making shirts. Like there's so much stuff to do without money. So overall, yes, you're going to need money to create the brand. Like you can't, can't turn nothing into something. It has to come from something. If you really want the brand to work, you have to invest money into it or you're just going to take a really long route that has a low success rate like if I'm gonna be honest with you but um, a lot of things that you can do without the money and you know many ways to make money nowadays you can do online surveys you can make a TikTok, get a job <laughs> um, you know like I'll make a separate video when I start um, about what I'm doing to spend my money on but overall you can make a, a little bit amount of money when it comes to clothing stretch a long way just if you know how to do it right. And I think that just circles back to the researching and the planning because if you just spend, let's just say $30 on one sample, it's 2024, you can get $30, let's just keep it a buck. $30 buys you the sample, right? You can take pictures with that sample, that's, that's no extra cost. Posting those, you can make TikToks on that specific sample, just spam all types of TikTok ideas that potentially get viral. That's marketing, that's free, and you could potentially make money depending on, you know, on there. Um, you send it out to a, a influencer or give it out to an influencer. If you know someone, just have that sample. That's not gonna cost anything, you know what I'm saying? And you're, and you're getting your clothing brand one step out to the real world, to the masses. And there, there's just so much thing like that. So that one $30 purchase, you could do so much with it, literally and just expand on that. So somebody ask you, like that guy that you gave it to, oh, where'd you get that shirt from? Boom, that's a potential customer. Hey bro, I saw so-and-so wearing your shirt. Can I buy one? Yeah, it's boom, $40. Well, that I make it, go ahead and give it to them, and then go out onto your, and then the next one is you can make videos. Oh, I just sold my first shirt, da da this and that. Like it's so much stuff that you can use with so much money, there's so many ideas. Um, money is not necessarily needed in the long run, at least not a lot of money, um, not that people make it out to be. So use your money wisely, use these tips if you don't even have any money and just start there. Take it one by one and we're gonna get in this together, man. Like I said, this is my journey as well. So I'm doing the exact same thing that I'm telling you is no BS and you're gonna see that I'm gonna be successful and I'm gonna see y'all that gonna be successful. So let me know if you thought these tips were helpful um, and let me know your thoughts about this video and let me know what you want to see next in the next episode because I, I got some stuff that I've been doing in the works that so I'm gonna keep you updated But if you have anything specific that you want to see I'll add it to an episode as well So with that being said, I'll see y'all next video. Peace